Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the highest win rate Kel build in the game after the recent Rage Blade changes. And in fact, that's to not take Rage Blade at all for AP Kel. Currently, AP Kel's highest win rate build is at a 73% win rate. That is to go for a Nash Rush into Rift Maker into Robdon because Kel got some massive AP buffs a couple patches ago. So with this build, you absolutely do not need Rage Blade. You don't really want it at all. Rage Blade, although it is good on AP Cal, it doesn't give you any sustain. The Rift Maker sustain is pretty important for staying a lane and staying alive. So currently, even though Rage Blade does work for AP Cal, it's a bit better on AD Cal because you can go Bork Rush for the sustain into Rage Blade and they can get Kraken for more on hit and then even flex into a Wit's End. So if you don't really plan on going Wit's End on AP Cal, if you're not up against an AP matchup, your best bet is to really just go for Nash, Rift Make, into a Robodon for that 73% win rate. We have Fleet Presence, Alacrity to last stand, Overgrowth Bone Plating with Attack Speed 80 and Armor. We go ahead and start with our E. Your Fleet against Minions doesn't heal you very much against Champions, it heals you for a lot more. We want him to push to us here, so he puts down his second auto on that minion. I haven't even autoed yet. Oof, he missed the first one, feels bad for him. We're gonna get him with an auto into an E. Trade one more auto. That was actually not a bad trade for us. All right, we've got two minions. We'll poke them with that E. We're getting presence of mind, but we're not actually using any mana because Kale's E is free to use. Auto attack into E. We'll back off, hit him with one more auto. Bait him into the turret shot, ideally. Couldn't quite get it, though. Our fleet's up, so we want to poke him with an E here. You don't really want to miss a minion to poke an enemy champion with your fleet, but it can be worth it if you're not missing a minion to just straight up hit him with your e from a range pre six we're gonna go ahead and pop potion he's trying to kill us right now all right got that one canceled we go ahead and auto that because we know it spins on cooldown here for a moment so we have a little bit of time His minions aren't going to focus me if I hit him. So once they start hitting your turret, they changed it to where they won't swap to hit you. He took a turret shot for that. Not the best trade for him. Auto into E reset. All right, pretty solid. He's trying to get his minions to hit me, but it doesn't work that way anymore. After the most recent patch, we heal off the fleet. Auto into Q. Auto, auto. Got one of those at least. We'll go ahead and heal ourselves up with W. To an E fleet heal. We got pretty much all of our health. This spins on a cooldown now. I want him to step back up so I can heal off with fleet, but he's just not stepping up enough. I'm going to ghost for this. Put my heal on the Udyr. Get him with the Q. He flashed it, so his flash is on a cooldown now. Pretty solid. We need to go ahead and push wave. My wave is going to be pushing out here anyways. We can full stack our passive. When your pass is full stacked, you get... Extra movement speed on Kel, and every stack of your passive gives you extra attack speed as well. So we are in a position to push since he has less HP than us and whatnot. Auto into E. He doesn't have any Fury built up, so he's actually pretty fightable like that. Without Fury, he's really not crazy strong. That being said, I'm missing way too many minions. Trinimir has very short auto attack range. Auto into E. Auto. Down he goes. He's fighting my minions, so he loses that, even though he has lethal tempo and I have fleet. Very nice. He got greedy there. Shouldn't try to fight me on all those minions. Three range minion autos is the equivalent of a level one D Blade AD carry auto, just about. So we crash the wave. I'm not going to stay because it's pre five minute mark. Pre five minute mark, top and mid turret, it's pretty much impossible to get a plate. They take 80% reduced damage. Something along those lines. Now from here, going for Swifties is going to be good. And then getting as much of this as we can afford is going to be good. You can also go ahead and pick up a single potion until we're level 6. Pre-6 on Cal, you take more damage for farming because you don't have very high range. She has 175 base auto attack range, which is high for melee, but like a Trindomir spin, Riven dashes will run you down and mash you up. Trindomir has a base auto range of 125. We've been taking advantage of that a lot as we step back and hit him as he steps back away from us if you run for lethal tempo then you want to go for berserks instead of swifties but swifties are cheaper so 
He slows us, I slow him. You see how he gets nothing? Because I have the Swifties. His way is pushing into me. He's missing minions right now. He has way more minions than me. So he's missing way more minions than I am there, at least in terms of last hits. Poke him with my E. He's trying to hit me here. I'm okay with that. He takes a turret shot. I can heal back up with my fleet. Auto E reset. We're level 6 now, so we have constant range autos. Auto. Auto. I couldn't get down my E. My E's on cooldown. Auto E reset. The way my minions are focusing, it's making it hard to get these. I have my passive full stacks. So I don't mind trading. I have the extra movement speed. I also have my R advantage here. Speed myself up with W to get to him. Since I have my passive full stack and he doesn't have Fury. Trinder without Fury can't trade very well. I see where their jungler is, so I don't mind pushing it here. Plus, I have minion advantage anyway, so I don't have much of a choice not to push it. There it is. Auto E reset. Pretty much always max her E first on Kel, even on AP Kel. Even with them buffing her Q relatively recently. I'm going to get a ward down here. Can float in autos and run away. Auto E reset. Auto into Q. And I do have my Swifty, so whenever he slows me, I also have tier 2 boots and he only has tier 1, so he's going to be missing a lot of HP here. Oh, uh, wasn't worth missing that minion. Need a backup. His minions are trying to focus me since I'm hitting them near him. Oh, missed the can. I should just use my E on it. It's my bad. Auto E, auto Q. Auto, what was that? Auto Q, auto E? Something like that. Your E is an auto reset and your Q is basically an auto reset as well. It's good to mix in your Q when they're getting close so it's easier to land. I have a bit, little bit of a CS advantage on this guy. Yeah, this guy's in trouble. Down he goes. He had no business doing that. He thought just because he was 6 he could fight me. Kel can auto attack for the majority duration of her R. Even at level 1. Her R lasts for 2.5 seconds these days. And she can auto attack for 2 of those 2.5 seconds. So she's autoing for nearly the entirety of it. He's not going to win that. And I also have the boots advantage. In the range melee champion matchup. You really both sides have to get early tier 2 boots. Otherwise you're going to get kited out. Swifties is perfect against like a Trindamir Nasus since they have slows. Very, very strong. I'm going to reset after this wave. If he doesn't have fear, you can have my passive full stacked. Auto into Q. Auto E reset W. Trying to push him off there. Very nice. Auto E, auto Q. He got absolutely shredded for that. He's losing all of his health. And since my pass is full stacked, I'm moving crazy fast right now. I'm moving full uh, 430 in combat. I'm getting the extra 10% for my passive. Auto EQ. He doesn't win this. I can kite around. Yeah, she can't get to me. I need my Udi to remove. I'm going to heal him, speed him up. Belvet doesn't have her dashes. Oh, she gets the knockup. She gets away then, I think. Peter doesn't have flash. I need a reset. Auto E reset. I don't know why he's stealing my last hits here. Auto E reset. Got my W down. Got that. Auto Q. Gonna get him with my E. Down he goes. Timed it pretty clean there. The lower E's on health more damage our E does since it's an execute. That's solid. His wave's in kill formation. His range minions fire three times. Oh my god. I didn't see that coming. Anyways, <laughs> since his wave was in kill formation, it was tight packed. Packed tight. Mine are trailing in since they weren't in combat. His wave's gonna push to me. Freaking Zed coming out of nowhere there. What a jump scare. Outrageous. I don't like Phantom Dance or Rush. It's not good. Not worth it. Nash is where it's at. We already have the tier 2, so we're moving quick. We could even push Dark Sill here because I can't afford Nash. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll just grab Dark Seal. Dark Seal's pretty good on a Kel after they buffed her AP scalings a bit. Her R, 70% AP scaling. E, 20% uh, plus percent base damage scaling on it. 25 plus percent base scaling. 50% solid overall. And then she also has AP scaling on her passive attack speed and on the AoE damage. So every single ability and aspect of it really does scale up nicely. His wave came to me like I said it would. And now we get to freeze. We don't really have to push. If I don't know where their jungler is, pushing is kind of dangerous. Auto into E reset. We just need him to have four more minions than we have. And uh, we can just chill. Auto E reset. I'm thinking to thin it out a little bit. There it is. There it is. And there it is. He still has minion advantage. And his main wave has collapsed. I might have killed a little bit too much there though. We'll see. Not sure where Trinimir is at. He could have rage quitting. He might just be waiting for me to push. Is that how that melee minion disengaged off there and went for me? Oh, he went for Herald. Okay. Auto and E reset Q. Oh, I wonder if his jungler's here. Auto into E. Auto into E. Yeah, this guy's crazy. He thinks he can use his Herald like that. Like, bro. Herald's not as good as you think it is, I'm afraid. I guess I'll finish Cole and look for my reset. Auto into E. Trying to pull this way back a little bit. Not taking too much damage. Going to the bush to reset that. I have enough mana to heal myself up with my W. It's generally bad to do that, but with presence of mind, I mean, being in combat, we get so much mana back. I'll wait for fleet to be up for my next auto. It's up. We can now heal. Like, like I said, against minions, it's really small, especially as a range champ, but it's something. Once I finish call, I'll reset. I'm taking a lot of damage from these guys because I don't have much armor. I don't have much of a way to mitigate it, really. That melee minion did a good job tanking. I'm going to have a lot of AoE damage now. Got to be careful with my passive not to rip open the wave super hard. Not sure where the trend's at. We have double his CS. Oh, he, he did. He's doing random crap. I should push top then. Might be able to get a play as well. Auto into E reset. Can heal myself up. The higher HP you are, the less likely you are to not only die to a gank, but you're also less likely to get ganked, which is nice because it. Junglers look for weak people to punish. They don't want to gank someone who's high HP. Right now, I'm missing a bit. You see Belveth bot side for dragon. Yeah, I get another plate here. That's cool. The Zed comes. I have my R and Ghost. I'm looking on the minimap. Just using attack and click behind me while I look at the minimap. Alright, I'll back off. His wave is going to kill formation here. You see how it's getting tight packed. It's no longer string. This pushes to me, plus it reinforces first. So, yeah, it pushes to me. We've got Nash now, and we go for Rift Make. Rift Make makes you a bit beefy, and it gives you self healing that you kind of need. I should group for this fight, I think. I'm pretty I'm pretty big here. I can shred these kids up. No full item on Vayne. Only Zed's full item. He does have tenacity, which sucks. Oh, Uder wasn't even going for it. He went there. I wasn't gonna be able to get there in time. They rushed it down. Trin even went there. He's done playing lane now. I'll push this real quick. I don't want Zed to get any turret. Speed myself up over the lane. Look how fast we are, dude. 430 when my passive's up. Even when passive's off, we're moving 395, which is pretty quick. Most champions tier twos move 380. It's because we have Swifties. Kel's base movement speed's okay at 335. For a range champ, it's acceptable. Trin's still bot side. We need to push. If your laner is perma roaming, you need to just dump waves and take turret. Now, if they're staying in lane, hoping you're going to push, it's fine to freeze if you're getting them to stay. But if he's going to be doing that... We need to get more golden XP, which we can do. We can take uh, monster camps and all that. Auto into E. We definitely have the late game scaling as long as I kite it out appropriately. Auto into E. Here comes the Zurath. Yeah, 
I'm going to kite this down. Uh, pass a full stack, get him with auto Q, auto E. Juke that, that stun, speed myself up with W, down he goes. Auto E, auto. I need to get to this plant before Zed gets here. Yep, I knew that was about to happen. We got to the plant in time, didn't have to burn my R, which is kind of nice. Are they still chasing me? They might actually still be a bunch of crackheads. Bunch of crackheads, man. Chasing me like that. All right, needs to push and do something. So I can't stay here for that long. My passive isn't stack. Trendmere's not full item, though. Should be able to shred him up. We'll lead in with Q because he doesn't... Oh, he sees me now. Never mind. I see where the Zed is. I'll push this out. Melee minions do way less damage than range. Range creeps generally do double to triple the melee's damage. Plus, they can reach more consistently. Not sure where Belveth's at. Makes me nervous. She might be on her red buff. They took my control ward. Bunch of turds. I'll hold, I'll hold on to my speed up for the Belveth. Oh, I actually hit. Auto E auto. I have to flash this. Oh, I, I just realized she's not even a full item. I might have been able to just straight up turn that there. Oh, I think Zed's coming. Where is Zed? Is he actually coming up here right now? What the heck are these? Oh, she has, she's she's on Rift Coral right now. I blew both my sums there. That freaking sucks. I needed to keep a better eye on mid so I knew what was coming. We really don't want to be dying. I can assert so much pressure onto the map. Yeah, we kind of need to take that. I want to take her camps. Stop her from scaling up. Get my passive full stack. They don't necessarily know I'm here unless this bush is warded. And then they step up. I can wreck them. Keeping Heralds away from Belveth is huge. Gives her a massive gas tank on her Rift Coral. Q, auto, E, auto. He's chunked out. Don't know where Zed is. It's one of the main things. When Zed goes missing, he has got a lot of burst. And he went for Merc Treads, so it's a little bit tricky to handle. Got our Rift Make, and now we go for Rabba Dabba Dabba Don. Can't afford it. Can't afford it, though. We'll hold on to Cole. Cole plus Fleet gives a lot of healing. If I auto 10 times, that's 30 health from the attack passive on it. There's no need to sell unless it's going to get you a, something good. Like, if I could have sold it and got a Needless, of course I would have done it. But I'm not going to sell it just to buy another controller. That wouldn't even make sense. I'd rather keep the 7 AD. Yeah, 90 mana cost. Holy hell. The mana cost on Cal W is a bit ridiculous. It's one of the few things that keeps her relatively balanced. I still think she's definitely overpowered for solo queue because people make so many mistakes and the games drag on longer than they should. That uh, As long as we don't die and we just kind of stay alive, we're good to go. Auto E, auto. Zed might be coming for me. We'll see. Nope, Zed stayed mid. Auto Q, auto. Down he goes. <laughs> I'm going to unmute all because this is hilarious. <laughs> he just got destroyed. <laughs> I got freaking massacred. The magic damage. 14% of his missing health. My goodness. Auto Q. Auto E. Kite this to where we want to be. I can solo Zed for sure. I can't really fight him and someone else at the same time. Because he's really slippery. So you can kind of disengage. And then whoever else is there can try to finish me off. Zed went bot side instead. They're junglers bot side. There's three of them bot side. Who's going to stop me? Auto into E. They need to send like Zerath here to clear the wave or something. Trindamir can't match me at all. I'll do half his health and take one turret shot and walk out and then do it again. Moving 430 in combat. W away. Alright, you're dead. Auto E, auto. Auto to Q. Oh, they got me. 
3v1. They pulled it off. We got Dragon, though. I'll say Worth. I would have, of course, preferred to live, but, I mean, a two, two full item vein. She has as many items, at least in terms of gold spent, as me there. Yeah, Kel ult does do a lot. It's uh, nearly 500 AoE damage. It's got a lot of range on it, too. Can I sell this now and get my Robidon? I think I can. Cole coming in clutch. Best starting item on Kel for sure. I don't even bother with D-Blade or Dorn Ring anymore on Kel. Cole feels a lot better because you don't really get kills on her pre-6 anyways unless you're jungler ganks. Cole gives you so much freaking gold and the healing on it's fine. Three health per healing is probably the same exact thing as D-Blade in the early game. So you don't really miss out on anything. Fleet is by far her best keystone. The speed up on it keeps you alive, stops bad trades from getting you killed. Although, of course, lethal tempo is better in the true late game, it's hard to make it to the late game if you're dying in lane. Staying alive in lane is pretty important. Close to level 16, which is where we'll get additional range, 625. Nearly as much as the Caitlyn auto at 650. Right now we're at 525, which is shorter than the average AD carry auto at 550. Ugh, oh, why are they coming over here? Zed's kind of going in. I have a weird angle here. Auto E auto. I guess I can ult my R here. I don't want to though. Execute him with our E. Yeah, we could do Baron off that for sure. I can do a lot more with that red buff than uh, the Udyr can, I'll tell you that right now. Having a range slot on my autos is outrageous. She shouldn't be going by right now, she should be helping Baron because I'm pushing top and I'm already here. Trinimir might have actually rage quit, man. He got decimated. Oh, you're in trouble. Auto E. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's in trouble, man. She tried to get away. <laughs> this Belvet's done a good job at landing her knockup. It's kind of hard to get away from. There's Baron. I'm going to run through here. One, two. I'm out. A Rage Blade's good on Cal. It's better for AD Cal. But better on AD Cal. Yeah. How does it feel, Trist? Uh, what is Uder saying? Is he taunting Trist? I don't know what he's going on about. So Trin isn't rage quit apparently. He's apparently just rage split pushing. Let's get our passive up here. Speed myself up. Auto E, auto Q. Oh, yeah. He shouldn't have turned. I'm on Ghost here. Auto E, auto. I'm going to heal her. I'm going to go in deeper. I'm on Ghost Extensions. Auto E, auto. Auto Q. She got hit by that. She's dead. I'm on Ghost Extensions. Yeah, AP Kel's cracked right now. They shouldn't have buffed her AP scaling a patch or two ago. Think she can hide on Fountain from me? I outrange her now at 625 range. I absolutely turbo outrange her. Let's get my attack speed up. Oh yeah, I think I have my permanent attack speed now at 16. So we permanently have the attack speed and movement speed. So I don't even have to build that up anymore. This was a fun game. AP Cal definitely too strong. Rage Blade isn't worth it on AP Cal, but AD Cal 100%. Let's take a look at damage ult, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage ult enemy champions, we had the most in the game at 29,000. Relatively short game, all things considered. Damage taken, middle of the pack, self mitigated, middle of the pack ish. Higher than a lot of people, but a lot lower than three people. And then for runes, high value. All in all, Fleet Cal is best. Like 19 out of 20 games. You just can't go wrong with it. Even if it's a free matchup, it's so good. Like, even if it didn't heal you, the speed up's useful enough to where it wouldn't be a troll keystone. So, I I can't see taking anything other than fleet. The amount of security it provides, it lets you get away with not having to take teleport. Fleet, 
every single game for sure. Flash Ghost, most games, and really hard matchups, you can go for Teleport Flash. If you really want to. Uh, and then I would say, I can see why AP Kel without Rage Blade is currently her highest win rate at 73%. AD Kel, it makes more sense to have it since AD Kel gets uh, Kraken and Bork, two on hit items versus AP Kel's one on hit item from Nash. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.